going on YouTube, Jason right here. A brand new iOS downgrade tool or method has been released. And this one allows you to go back to iOS 14.3 all the way up to iOS 15.7.2. This one is of course for legacy devices, but this one requires you to patch several things. So Michael posted this in here. Note that this method requires some effort. And yes, it does require some effort. This is what they posted. Essentially a step-by-step -step guide, but not really detailed. And this is in here, you have to download the target IPSW. So in this case, you're going to go and get, for example, the iOS 14.3 IPSW, download the latest version of Future Restore developer build, extract the IPSW and use EMG4, which you're going to have to compile yourself to extract and restore Remdis. You put the restored external binary in a disassembler and patch it. And by patching, you have to find the decompressed references frames, which is a function and you have to patch it. And by the looks of it, move x0 zero, 0 essentially return 0 you patch it to return 0 instead of move x0 zero, x19 which would be returning whatever is in the x19 register at that moment which could be an error code if something didn't match so you force that function to always return 0 and you can do that I have a disassembler in here with that restored external binary loaded this is the function that you need the compressed reference frame and as you can see it's a pretty huge function it goes on and on and on and on you can and go through graph view over here. This is where the function terminates. This would be the return case in this case. And you would probably have to patch, for example, this over here, move x0, x26. This appears to be setting up the return value and is then followed up by a red. By making this to be a zero, you would force this function to always return zero. I believe this is where you have to patch it, but I didn't look too much into it just yet. But from the instructions that I see here, although they mention x19, uh, that could change depending on the compiler iOS version, this assembler can change that. But to me, it looks like they try to return a zero always in that function. Anyway, after that, you're going to have to resign it with LDID minus S, which you can get with brew, and then put it back inside the uh, DMG file, which represents the restore RAM disk. So then you're going to have to, of course, do all the restore stuff. But this is definitely flawed in a way or another. Uh, Michael also says in here that some other obvious things to note is that Face ID will not work with this method. This has all the same shortcomings that currently appear with 16.x SEP on iOS 14 or 15. So, for example, needing to dump the activation ticket beforehand, the non-troll store side loading being broken and so on. And this only works on the iPhone 10, especially for now. We don't know if this method would work on other devices in the future but for now you would need to do all that and you would need to do all the manual patching and it works on that but if you have that device and if you do all those patches and if you're willing to accept those shortcomings you can use your saved SHSH blobs to downgrade back to iOS 14 or 15 any version you want which is definitely great it's absolutely fantastic to see downgrade methods being released in the community it's definitely nice and patching these functions is not exactly very hard once you get the grip of it it's a huge function. It has many, many, many paths over here, but really you should get the gist of it pretty easily. Anyway, that's basically it. If you want to learn how to patch this stuff properly, if you want to learn how to create your own jailbreak or tweaks and so on, definitely check out 8K sec course over here, Offensive iOS Internals, which goes in depth into exactly what I mentioned earlier, disassembling and patching and learning reverse engineering. They have a lot of videos in here. They talk about the kernel and so on. So definitely check it out. It's a great course. Thank you for watching. I'm GS Now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.